Yo, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Now I found this really cool thing a few minutes ago, it's called Pantry. It allows you to store up to 100 megabytes of JSON data for absolutely free. It's open source and the documentation is amazing. Now there are some caveats that I will cover right now. If you go into the frequently asked questions right here, you'll see that what are the limitations. The limitations are that you have 100 JSON objects that you can store, which are called baskets. And each of those baskets can only have about 1.44 mega, megabits of data per basket. And you only can get two calls per second, and that's it. Now, for small-time projects, that's more than enough. But if you're going to be you, using this as a huge project, then this is not going to cut it. But this is really cool if you need something that's open source and absolutely free. So let me show you guys how to get started. If I go back to the home page, you, all you have to do is give an email right here and they're gonna give you back a API key or a uh, your ID, which you're gonna consider as your API key. Now be sure to store that somewhere safe um, because they're not gonna be able to send it to you again. So I've already got mine saved and once you've gotten it saved, you're gonna be taken to this page right here. Uh, this is the documentation of how to work with it. It's very, very simple. You have two different columns. You have a basket and a pantry. Um, the first part we're going to focus on is basket, then we're going to learn how to get some individual content from that basket or a pantry. Now, you will initially be shown, I think, uh, HTTP. I'm going to be switching it over to Axios, Node.js, since that's what we're going to be working with. And we're going to leave it as pantry prod, and we're just going to leave it as double column as well. Alrighty, so I've opened up a very basic React app, and the first thing we have to do is we need to install Axios. And the way to do that is I'm going to cd into my directory, and then I'm going to do npm i axios, and let that install. While that's installing, I'm just going to go ahead and import it. So I'll do import axios from axios, and then I'll do import react as well as use effect from react. Perfect, so now what we need to do is we need to find a way to create a basket. This basket is then going to store all of our data. So if I go into the documentation and scroll down, we should see something right here called basket and right here called post create or replace a basket. Now it's very simple to do. All we're going to do is we're going to scroll a little bit lower. We're going to see an example right here of how they're doing it. So since we already imported, we're just going to go ahead and create and copy this JSON data object right here. And I'll paste it right here and I'll change this var to a const. And then we'll do the same thing right here for the config as well. And I'll change this to const. And remember that ID that I told you to save? Uh, well, you're going to paste it right here. So I've already saved mine. And oops. And I'm going to paste it right here. And then we also need to give it a basket name. So since this is a brand new basket, I'll call it the best basket and then we need to call Axios so that's gonna be really simple I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this as opposed to type it out manually and then if we were to open up our uh, react app so I'll do npm start we should see something like this message right here but there we go so we see your pantry was updated with basket the best basket now it was updated and it was also created so that's the only thing that that uh, text doesn't show let me zoom in a little bit more there we go so your pantry was updated with basket the best basket so how do we access this data it's very simple all we're going to do is we're going to change this from a post to a get and then we should be able to console our data right here we have derp florp123 test payload key length 3 which is our exact data right here just in a stringified version Alrighty, so that concludes this video if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe and if you have any suggestions for any future videos, leave them in the comments down below. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.